Welcome to the world of tissue culture, a fascinating field of biotechnology that has changed the way that we grow plants. Tissue culture is a technique that cultivates plant cells in a controlled lab environment. It allows us to grow multiple plants from small singular pieces of plants, expediting the plant production process compared to traditional methods of seed and cutting propagation. A more apt name for the field is micropropagation, since the same concepts are used in typical asexual propagation methods. The process begins with selecting a small selection of plant tissue, such as a leaf or a stem, and sterilizing it to eliminate any microorganisms. This sterile tissue is then placed on a nutrient-rich media containing essential nutrients and growth hormones. We will demonstrate this shortly. The nutrient medium provides all the necessary elements for the growth and development of plant cells. The most common nutrient media is called MS and includes essential plant nutrients. We also add sugar, agar, and growth hormones such as BAP, which is a cytokinin and helps cells multiply. Over time, the plant tissue starts to grow and multiply, forming many different growth shoots that can further be subcultured. After the multiplication stage comes rooting, where an auxin such as NAA is used to induce rooting. After a few weeks in the media, plants are then ready to be transitioned into a highly controlled greenhouse. After this acclimation process, they are ready for a typical greenhouse environment. This is a typical tissue culture lab setup. This box is called a laminar flow hood, and its purpose is to keep this area inside this glass sterile. This green filter is a HEPA filter, and it's having air pushed above from a fan to create a positive pressure across your hands. We have a sterile work environment here with some forceps or tweezers, as well as a razor blade. Back behind in the jars, we have our multiplication media where we're gonna be able to put our plantlets. And this here is a jar of Thai constellations that are about two weeks old and are beginning the multiplication process. Here we have a magnetic stir that's spinning around a 10% bleach and water solution, always using distilled water to sterilize a plantlet that we're going to be putting into the multiplication media. Tissue culture is all about being sterile, from the air, to your hands, to all of the different tools and utensils you're using. We also have a small alcohol torch, which we use to sterilize our metal and glass utensils. In the back corner, we also have a HEPA filter in case any sort of pathogens enter the laminar flow hood during our work. Hopefully they are cleaned out before they enter the tissue culture jar and cause contamination. Today, our plant we're going to be using is a typical golden pothos. So the first things to do is to get the part of the plant from the mother plant. This is a simple cutting and it has some roots attached. The first step in this process is to remove the leaves and any sort of excess stems as well as roots. The nodes are what we want to focus on here and here. In typical propagation processes, these are two separate plants. This one as well as this one down here. And we know all that this is is a petiole, a leaf stem. So we'll remove this leaf stem entirely leaving just this little node here with the root attached, as well as the apical meristem underneath. Typically in a sterile environment, I would not be touching the plantlet. I would be using forceps. And then I'm gonna remove this excess stem at the top. We wanna to remove as much biomass as possible from the plant so that we don't risk the chance of contamination. Now this is the only two things we need. These are the parts of the stem which contain stem cells. Into our stir with bleach, we're going to add these two plantlets. These will now sterilize because they've come from the greenhouse environment and they might have pathogens on them. And before we introduce them to a sterile multiplication media, we want to sterilize them first. So we'll leave these in here for about five to 10 minutes and come back to put them into the multiplication media. We'll now shut down our stir. So we'll now remove our X plants from our bleach solution water. So after the bleach water, we'll do a rinse off of just plain water, then over into alcohol. This is 70% ethanol for about five seconds and now out into some sterile distilled water. So now this is the part where contamination can occur because bacteria or fungi can flow into this jar. So we wanna be quick here. And in between this process, it's good to sterilize all of your tools. That's what this torch is for. In this batch of multiplication media, this has some nutrients in it as well as some growth hormones. We typically use BAP and NAA, a cytokinin as well as an auxin, and our process is to take the bottom side, which contains the root, and stick it down into the jelly 
which has some agar in it to make it solid, just like that. And as quickly as you can, make sure to cap your vessel, and many times we will use some saran wrap to wrap around the edge of it. Within a few weeks, your plants will begin to multiply like this. Towards the middle of this jar, you can see a Thai constellation starting to multiply. You can see the multiple shoots coming out of one stem. This is the beauty of tissue culture. It has the ability to grow many plants just from a single piece of a stem, and that's driven by the multiplication media having a plant hormone in it that helps cell division and helps speed up the branching process of the plant. Once these plants are larger to be subcultured, they'll be cut again, put into a new batch of fresh multiplication media to be grown out again and cut potentially infinite amount of times where they'll end up eventually in a rooting solution like this musa creating many different branches of rooting all while in a sterile environment. These rooted plants will then be transferred into the acclimation process. This consists of maintaining high humidity levels, warm temperatures and limiting biological exposure similar to an incubator. This is a challenging process for many plants such as Monstera Thai constellation. Fungicides as well as beneficial microbes can be implemented to improve success rates. Once plants have acclimated, they will enter the greenhouse for further growth. Many common houseplants are grown exclusively from tissue culture. Some examples are the peace lily, alocasias, ferns, philodendrons, calatheas, anthuriums, as well as ficus. Of course, they can be also grown in traditional method, but without the scale of production. Small to medium plants do best in tissue culture and those which carry stable variegation. Tissue culture has the advantage of producing a uniform canopy and genetically identical plants to the mother plant, but it does have its limitations. There is some mounting evidence that newer generations of Monstera deliciosa Thai constellation, which is being produced in the tropics, is far weaker than previous generations of the plant. Newer generations are succumbing very quickly to pythium and other fungi in the root and stem zone. But tissue culture does enable the development of new plant varieties with desirable traits. Scientists are able to manipulate the genes and create plants that are resistant to diseases, tolerant to environmental stresses, and produce higher yields than previous generations of plants. Plant tissue culture also plays a crucial role in conservation efforts. It allows for the preservation of endangered plant species by storing their genetic material in tissue culture banks. Plant tissue culture has revolutionized plant biotechnology and opened up exciting possibilities for plant research, agriculture, and conservation. Its ability to propagate plants rapidly, modify their genetic makeup, and preserve endangered species has made it an indispensable tool to the world of plant science. We hope you enjoyed learning about tissue culture. We'll be exploring this topic deeper in future videos. Consider subscribing since we make two videos about houseplants each week. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.